I'm Ling Ling. Uh, like DPN said, I was born in a humble family with parents who did not have many former years of education. But they made sure that my siblings and I grew up in an environment that is safe and that's loving. We stay in a, a neighborhood that is mainly comprising of two room and three room flats. And I was always uh, very sensitive to the plight of the families I see who are affected by problems such as drugs, gambling, and other social challenges. Graduating with an accountancy degree, I first started my career in the financial industry for about seven years. That helped me to save up, and my family was able to upgrade to a better home. Having looked after my family, I decided to take a leap of faith and pursue something that's much closer to my heart, and that's to contribute to social service causes. That started my journey in the social service. I found a platform in the National Council of Social Service where I developed non-profit boards, I set up the Social Service Training Institute, and I allocated funds to ensure that social service agency can run critical programs. My last role in NCSS was as the Managing Director of Community Chest, where I also led the SG50 Care and Share Movement over a 28 months period. We were committed to raise donations and mobilize volunteerism for charities. Personally, my sole purpose to be very hardworking throughout the movement was to ensure that no one is left behind as we celebrate our country's successes. That the least, the last and the lost are not forgotten during our jubilee. In my 16 years in NCSS, what motivated me most was rallying people who care to step up and contribute to those who need an uplift in a community. I worked relentlessly to bring the private, public and people sector together for resources that can have sustainable support to build a strong spirit of mutual help and solidarity. In the last two years, I embarked on healthcare transformation in the community. I brought together social service insights with healthcare expertise for the medical team that I get to work with. This is important to me as I see the importance of long-term holistic care as our population age rapidly, to consider both the social and health aspects to keep the well-being of our elderly. I link the primary care providers and social service organisations together to innovate in new care models. One example is to use simple technology to help people with high blood pressure to understand and control their disease to avoid complications like strokes. Serving in the grassroots in the last one and a half years, I've also had my first-hand experience of how social and healthcare programs and schemes translate to our residents at the last mile. I see emerging needs and I improve on the programs, such as incorporating chronic health checks in social welfare outreach to rental blocks. In building social and financial resilience in the community, I listen to residents and I match them to the help that they require. I share my knowledge about how to keep healthy body and healthy mind with residents during the COVID-19 pandemic because many of them were facing many challenges and many changes, some losing their jobs and businesses. At this stage, I have a very simple reason to step into politics at the half time of my life. I see the need for experienced and committed Singaporeans like me who have benefited from this country to do our best to serve, to create the next leap for the country. Singapore, Singapore population is ageing rapidly. It will affect both old and young. For the seniors, I hope to advocate for more ways to empower seniors to understand their health and to live healthily for a longer period. For young families who have to look after elderly parents and young children, I empathise with the stress that they will face and I hope to find ways to support them in their caregiving. With the pandemic now and its economic repercussions, I feel even a stronger duty to serve. I take nothing in life for granted. Political stability to help us ride through the difficult years ahead is not a given. I live through as a young person, the Asian financial crisis in 1997. 
the SARS in 2003 and the global financial crisis in 2008. I saw how, as a nation, we can bounce back if we have political leadership that can deliver swift interventions and keep the society cohesive. I hope to serve and help Singapore stay resilient and punch above our weight in the challenging years ahead. 大家好，我是玲玲，我从小在一个小康之家，在一个三房式主屋区长大。在近二十年来的社会服务中，我动员了培训和资源来帮助广泛的弱势群体。在基层，我也在人口老化的地区，呃，帮忙发帮忙开发